Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity video, but this one was not going to be a tutorial, it's what I've been promising when I go back to school after the Christmas holidays, I'll be releasing the kind of first version 0.01 .01 whatever of my game. Obviously there's not a lot to do in it at the moment, but the point is you can download it and you know just have a go and mess around. Um, yeah, as I said, there's not much to do in it, but you can still test stuff, see if you find any bugs, see how it feels, what you think it looks like, just you know, feedback, um, whatever you want. Um, and. I've set up a GitHub repository, which I'm going to explain in a second for those of you who don't know how that works. And you'll basically be able to just download it, unzip a file, and press play. Um, when you do that, you know, just play if you want. You're not forced to, but I would highly recommend, basically I'm begging, um, for people to fill out a quick survey afterwards. Um, just to help me out, basically, uh, for the testing. And yeah, so let's just see how it goes. So obviously I want to start by thanking my donors on Patreon. Thanks to Michael, Paul Robinson, Forbom and Wesley for their donations on Discord this month. If anyone else would like to help out, then the link is in the description below. So uh, I'm going to quickly run over what I've got to do, like the kind of stuff you can test. And then obviously I'll show you how to get it. It shouldn't be a very long video. So obviously exit game closes. I'm not going to click that. Settings, yep. Um, currently only graphics exist. Audio and controls don't currently exist because there's no sound and controls. I haven't implemented changing controls. So you're going to have to just do the controls that are built in. And I've made a text file, which I'll show you that goes with the download. So you can just look at the text file for controls. It's not very difficult. They're quite obvious controls. So you just obviously resolution. I don't need to explain this. You've got your settings here. They should all work. When I've tested them myself, they all work. Um, if you set them and then press return, it will work. Um, actually, no, then again, no, sorry. You have to press apply for it to work because as soon as you get load, whenever you load a new scene, it reads the settings from the file which apply saves to your computer. So um, you'll want to press apply otherwise it won't save basically, which is you know quite obvious. So yeah, if you press escape when you're in the game, it brings up the menu, uh, there's only graphics again, and you've got the same settings here. You can change these, they won't really change much in here. Texture quality will, for example, I'll put it maximized. Um, so obviously that like all sprite, well not all sprites, but the default sprites and stuff like some some UI stuff gets made low quality. Um, but yeah, so you put it on whatever you need. Resolution everything, yeah. Recommend don't vsync, but you know some people have vsync monitors or prefer vsync anti aliasing you know, see how it runs. Uh, one of the feedback options is just how did the game run? On mine it runs, a, I've never lagged at all, but I'm assuming on lower end PCs it might, so we'll see. Um, so you get into the game. Uh, simple walk around WSD, this is all obvious. You can run over and pick up items, which I'm going to be changing at some point to like pressing E to interact to pick them up. Um, once you've picked items up, they're all in your inventory. Obviously you can mouse over to look at the different items. If they're an item that you can do something with, like a piece of armor or whatever, you right click on it, it'll use it. So the armor goes to the armor slot. If you right click on a weapon, it'll go to the weapon slot and equip it. So we've got a sword equipped, which doesn't have attacking yet, but it's there. Um, you can right click in here to unequip things or you can click on a slot and see everything that goes in that slot. There is currently a bug with that so obviously that's noticeable. <laughs> I, I need, I know I need to fix that so don't worry. Um, as I said if it's a bug that I've already pointed out like then don't bother reporting it. You could still do it. It'll you know, remind me to fix it but the chances are by the time you sent it I might fix it. Might have fixed it anyway. Um, so yeah you can equip stuff from here. Potions will go in your hotbar. You can drag stuff around. Um, if you go to the spell book select an element like earth unlock spell once it's unlocked it the chain goes away and it says add to hotbar instead uh the cost is so i don't have spell cost currently that's one thing i need to show but just i think all the spells are made free basically cost so it's fine you have i've given you a thousand spell points you can get everything um so yeah add to hotbar it's on your hotbar put it wherever you want so slot four so that's just the slot that's just your number key so one two three four so walk up to this enemy and press four it'll cast a spell deal damage whatever uh, if i press two it'll use a health potion which i'd don't take any damage, but the point is you use them and then the end they run out. Um, so it's all self-explanatory. As if you equip, so if you click on the head slot, for some reason it's showing the chest plate, and I will fix that. If you click on it, it won't bug out and equip that to your head slot. It'll still equip it to your chest plate slot, so it's not like a breaking bug. The leggings are now here. I don't know, we'll see. But the point is, yeah, you can equip all your items. It doesn't visually change the resistances on here, but it actually does. I've even put a debug log there I need to get rid of, um, just to test whether it is adding and removing stats. So as you see there, Satan Sword adds 64 max HP, 53 strength. These are just mess around numbers and items I've made for testing. Uh, spellbook. So once you've got your spells, you can unlock augments. So you click on an augment to unlock it, it costs a few points. Once you've unlocked an augment, you then have to click again to select it. So this is the activated one, it's gone bright. So when I 
hit something with the spell, it'll shatter into more fragments. There you go. And I'll be having other rock spells that, for example, pick up the fragments and you do stuff with them, like explode or fly enemies or whatever I'm going to do. Uh, you know, boulder tar, so you can use it from further away, basically, you know, if you run away. Shift to sprint. Uh, and you, I increase the range, I don't know by how much. I think, um... Oh, I think I might have a bug with that, actually. One sec. I might fix that before I release. I think what... Actually, no, it'll be broken right now. Okay, just don't use that augment. I think what I've done is I've accidentally set the augmented distance, the increased distance, to zero. I must not have set the variable, so it's just gone to zero. That's why you can't use it. But yeah, and then target soil just means that you can aim at the ground instead of aiming at... Uh, oh, it's just not working at all. That's interesting. Well, the default one is. Okay, well, I'll have to have a look into that. Just don't use those augments, I guess, or, you know, use them and they'll break and then report it to me. I don't know. Plenty of stuff to fix, and when you, generally when you get people to test your own things for you, then they'll find even more bugs. But yeah, most of the spells work, let's just say that. <laughs> uh, okay, missiles, you know, you can fire your missiles around, they home in on the enemies. So yeah, just test what you want to test. Um, you know, jump around, push some boxes, um, whatever you want to do. Uh, there's no jumping animation, but you can jump. Uh, you can sprint, walk backwards, sidestep. When you sidestep, you kind of slide around everywhere. Obviously, animations... I can't do animations very well. I'm going to need to get someone to do this eventually. Um, Beastery, that um, is meant to represent the one enemy that we've got in the game. It's meant to be a silhouette of them, but we don't actually have, like, silhouettes. So I'd, I, don't bother, for, like, saying, oh, you know, the inventory icons could be better because I've literally done these in, like, paint and stuff and whatever. They're, they're just placeholders, so don't worry about that. But for this, for example, it's meant to be a silhouette of an enemy, and when you kill one, so if I, you know, go over here and I kill like the enemy for example then um, it'll tell me on here that I've killed one of them and it'll really it'll show the picture then if I kill the next one if I kill like three of them I'll unlock their name and so on the more you kill the more you unlock on them so that's just the system uh, that you can test basically I don't think there's any problems with that it works fine as I add more enemies obviously this will be a bigger list of things to like go down with and it'll be filled out like all three across across uh, just like this is and yeah, I don't think there's much more. Um, yeah, what else is there to test the moment? Oh, and the bow. So you've got the bow, so you can equip the bow. When you equip it, this little UI pops up saying what arrows you've currently got equipped. If you use your scroll wheel on your mouse, you can scroll between basic and fire, which is the two I've got. Basic arrows uh, just deal damage. The longer you hold it, up to a maximum of 40 damage, I see. Okay, and that'll consume arrow, so four, three. If you hold it for just a little bit, it'll do less damage. Fire arrows do the same damage, but they also apply a burn afterwards. So two, 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 two fire damage. Um, and once you run out of a particular kind of um, arrow, it'll just default to the other ones. And then you'll run out of arrows. And I can't remember what I made happen here. Oh, it just turns off the UI. So that's pretty good, actually. Um, so if you've got no UI, it means you're out of your arrows. It even tells you you're out of arrows. So that all works. Um, I say it all works, but I'm sure people find a way to uh, break it anyway. Um, yeah, click on these slots. That, that's like the only bug I've found so far. Oh yeah, so so I need to fix the slot selecting bug and using Rock Hill with its augments apart from the first one. Apparently it doesn't work. But yeah, it's good to uh, bring up bugs and you know keep fixing them and keep adding new stuff. I quite like the post-processing I've done with the rocks and the trees and added the fences and the uh, crates. I think it looks a bit nicer. And the, uh, the grass that I've sorted out. So it's quite nice. Um... Yeah, I don't want to ramble on too much. I want you to have a go. So I'm going to quickly show you... Oh, yeah, and the beastery now tells you its name. And then, obviously, you kill more, you unlock its description and stats. So, how to get this? Well, if you go... I'll link it in the description, of course. Um, oops. Click on the wrong thing. So we have a GitHub repo, which I'm going to link this. And all you have to do is click this clone or download button. And when you do it, click download zip. And you'll get a zip into your downloads folder. So that'll download um so yeah it has a raw file which is the game inside there a readme which is this so obviously please read through this it's basically what i've been talking about but you know uh i mentioned the controls inside controls.txt which you can preview here movement was looking mouse movement left click right click tab uh shift to sprint i might add that on there um and then features is just where i've mentioned all the things you can test so like uh, the player, what you can do, sword, you know, to add attacking, bow, firing, zooming, arrow, you know, just all the things that you can kind of test and what I plan on adding next. So these are the upcoming things. 
it's all here. I uh, just have a look through it, have a quick read. And then, uh, yeah, that's it basically. So you get the zip file, unzip it, extract, whatever you want to do. So extract to a file here. You go in there. Um, it's just an empty file inside a file. Well, yeah, you go inside that. And then you've got your TXTs here if you want to um, have those. But if you just want to play, you see Hell Latest Build. Um, that is its own zip file because that's where the game is. So just extract to Hell Latest Build, which is there. And here it is. We've got the game. You double click on it. It's going to check because uh, it was just in a zip I've downloaded whether it's safe. I can assure you it is. It's just a Unity down. It's just a Unity export. Thank you. No problems were found. And there you are. So it's up to you to go test it now. I hope you do. I hope you give feedback. It's up to you. It looks a bit low quality because it defaults the resolution to the Unity editor resolution. Uh, there we go. That's better. Um, that just glitched when I click. So yeah, if I click uh, start new game multiple times when it's on the last button, it will um, like start the scene a few times. Obviously, it only starts it once in the end, but um, yeah. Also, the minimap's temporary in the sense of it will be a proper minimap where you don't see a character and everything. You'll just see like a top-down view of the world, like a drawn minimap where you discover parts of it, and an M will actually bring up a map and so on. But um, for now, it's just literally a camera watching what you're doing. So... That's why when I look like this, the grass becomes more visible because it's at an angle. The grass rotates to always look at the camera's face, so it like looks better. I think it's quite nice. But yeah, uh, go give feedback uh, if you want. Obviously, I said the link's here for Survey Monkey. You go click there, and here it is. Just fill it out and press done. So that'd mean a lot to me. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for any help you give. Uh, I've been developing this for. Technically, I started it last, uh, like just one year ago. But obviously, I've that was when I'd started Unity. Well, not started Unity. But that's when I'd started my first proper Unity project, like making my own game. Um, I had restarted it once then to go onto a new Unity version and just start again fresh with new coding knowledge, and it's just been much better. So I hope you enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing people's replies and reading through those and reading through the feedback, fixing more bugs. So yeah, um, if you haven't already, obviously like and subscribe. It mean a lot. Uh, join our Discord server and. Apart from that, thanks for watching and goodbye.